it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so I have a foundation review for you guys on the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I've had this now for at least a good seven to eight months. I think this is pretty old. It's been out now since a good two to three years. I'm late to the game, but at least I have a well thought out opinion about this foundation. In a nutshell, <laughs> it's I. I mean, I'm just not wowed by it. I mean, the marketing and what it claims to do sounds amazing, and hence the name Naked. It's supposed to be like a weightless, lightweight, just makes your skin look flawless without any detection of foundation. On top of that, it's supposed to be oil-free, which caught my attention. Just because if you're new to my channel, I have super oily skin. It's no joke. I'm actually shocked you don't see the oil buildup. You kind of do on my forehead. It's just control like 20 minutes out the shower just to do my eyebrows that's it and I already have an oil buildup on my face it's that serious so the shade that I picked out was 6.0 and I'm an NC 42 for reference and I'm not sure if this is the greatest match for me however I do apply a darker powder but I would probably suggest getting the 7.0 now they do have 18 shades to pick from I'm just not convinced that this is my shade and you'll see in just a second the funny thing is this is my second time returning or exchanging this foundation just because it leaks out of the cover. Do you see that? That's like a waste of product, especially for the price. But I do love the fact that it comes with the pump. As far as the smell, it smells like paint. It sounds like a paint can. Crazy! <laughs> so normally one pump is good enough for me, and I like to apply it with my e.l.f. flat top kabuki brush. You can get this at Target for $3. A little goes a long way, at least for me. And it's definitely buildable coverage, but for some reason, just because this is a tad bit too light, I feel like the more I build up, the lighter it gets. So here's just one light layer applied to my face. As you can see, it definitely evened out my skin tone. However, I'll zoom you in in just a second. My nose, it it's kind of like my dry area on my face. You could see the dry patches and the foundation is coming off a little cakey around my nose. See, like I said, I don't recommend this for people who have super dry skin just because it will emphasize on your dry patches. But because I have oily skin, my dry nose will turn into oil within like an hour. But I love the fact that it's super lightweight. It gives me a medium coverage. It's very matte right now. It has like a demi matte finish. Um, you could still see some of my flaws peeking through, my beauty marks, which I love. Love. I mean, what do you expect from a naked foundation? But I am not loving the nose area. I don't know how well you can see some of the flaking on my nose. And then this just bugs me. This is just so cakey. The flaking around my nose is just being cute in that area. Other than that, this foundation is just so beautiful on. If only I had the right shade. So for a $39 foundation, do I recommend it? Yes and no. If you have super oily skin, I would probably just say move on. There's better foundations out there for you. But if you have combination skin with a little bit of oil, then I would definitely say that this is a foundation you should definitely look into if you're looking for a light to possibly medium coverage because like I said, you could still see your imperfections shining through. But as long as you set your foundation, which is a definite must, especially if you have oily skin or a little bit of oil just because this foundation transfers. Yeah, you know, a lot of people wear white during the summertime, giving hugs, oh hi, how are you? And then once they back off, I start to see my 6.0 foundation shade on their white shirt. Yeah, how embarrassing is that? And the other negative thing that I don't like about it is that it only has a shelf life of six months. Like I said, I've had this now for at least a good seven, eight months, so is this bad already? I mean, for $39 and for a foundation that only lasts for six months, I understand that it has some sort of like technology and like uh, minerals and vitamins in this foundation, but I like my foundation to at least last a good year, possibly two, but I know it's not practical. A year is, is fine with me. Six months? I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyways, if you tried out this foundation, like I said, it's been out now for at least a good two to three years. Comment down below your thoughts and your opinions. Also state if you have oily skin or dry skin just to help out others as well and just to prove if my review is pretty accurate and on point. So let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye! <laughs> I just saw this.
this hairstyle and I was like, oh, I definitely think it has potential to be worn as an everyday style. This is actually almost a week old twist out, so I'm actually going to see if I can recreate that style on my natural hair. So let's go.